This video will show thermodilution process using the PICO2 monitor. Watch the previous videos regarding the setting up and programming of the PICO2 monitor. First, press the TD direct access button. In this thermodilution screen, set the volume of the injectate that will be used. Next, enter the patient's measured CVP. Confirm by pressing the enter key. Prepare several syringes of chilled normal saline so that you can carry out three measurements in rapid succession. Now, connect the normal saline solution to the end port of the CVL with a temperature sensor cable. Make sure the stopcock is off to the transducer. Press the start key. After the command, inject the normal saline rapidly and smoothly. Eventually, the first set of values will be displayed. This process needs to be repeated two more times. Connect the second normal saline syringe to the end port of the CVL. Now press the start key. When given the cue, push the normal saline in a swift and steady fashion, not more than 7 seconds. Momentarily, the second set of values will then be displayed. Lastly, connect the third normal saline to the end port of the CVL. Press the start key. After the command, inject the normal saline in a swift and steady fashion. Remove the syringe and protect the end of the port with alcohol impregnated cap. If you wish to cancel a specific calculation, press that specific column once to highlight it then again to remove it from the calculation. An X mark will be displayed over that column. However, if you wish to include the cancelled column, press that same column for the third time. The mean is calculated from valid measurements and is automatically saved. Now, press the exit key. The values are now displayed on this screen. You have now completed thermodilution process with PICO2.